evaporation and condensation. Learning objectives. Learning about the evaporation process. Learning about the condensation process. Differentiating between evaporation and condensation. Learning about the relationship between the area of matter and the speed of evaporation. Hello, my friends. I want to prepare a hot cup of tea. Look at the teapot, my friends. Do you notice anything? Yes, well done. The water vapor has started to rise. Hmm, the vapor is in a gaseous state. But wait a moment. There is water in this pot. And the water is in a liquid state. Where did this vapor come from? Hmm. Look, my friends, the water changed into vapor when it was heated. This process is called evaporation. Evaporation is the change of matter from the liquid state to the gaseous state when it is heated. That's great! I have an idea. I will put this clean, cold lid on the pot to prevent the water from evaporating and changing from a liquid state to a gaseous state. Yes, this is better. The water vapor has disappeared. What is this? Where did these water drops on the lid come from? The lid was clean. It's okay, I will clean it again. Oh, the water drops have appeared again. Do you know why that happened, my friends? Now I understand. Look with me, my friends, at this rising water vapor. Notice that when it reaches the pot's cold lid, water drops form. This means that the water vapor in the gaseous state changed to water drops in the liquid state. This process is called condensation. Condensation, my friends, is the change of matter from the gaseous state to the liquid state. This happens when hot vapor is exposed to a cold object like this pot's lid. So, my friends, there are two processes. The change of matter from the liquid state to the gaseous state when heated this is the evaporation process, and the change of matter from the gaseous state to the liquid state when cooled. This is the condensation process. So, evaporation and condensation are opposite processes. Now I can drink a delicious cup of tea. Notice, my friends, the water vapor rising from the hot cup of tea. What is the name of this process? Good job! It is the evaporation process. The matter in the liquid state changed into vapor in the gaseous state. So we notice the existence of both the evaporation process and the condensation process a lot in our life. For example, have you ever noticed the formation of small water droplets on the window on a cold morning? I wonder, what is the process that caused this? Evaporation or condensation? Well done! It is the condensation process. The air changed into water droplets on the glass, which means that it changed from the gaseous state to the liquid state when it hit the cold glass window. Also, the water drops that can be seen on tree leaves in the morning. They also result from condensation and the change of air 
from gas to liquid when it hits the cold leaf. In addition, when hanging wet laundry under the warm sunlight, we notice that the water disappears after some time. And the reason for this is that the sunlight heats the water on the clothes, so it changes from a liquid state to a gaseous state. As a result, we see the water evaporate. This process is evaporation. Now, let's make sure of that once more. We will put two pieces of wet clothing under the warm sunlight and see what will happen after some time. Ah, the water has evaporated off this piece, but this piece is still a bit wet. I wonder why. Did you notice something, my friends? Well done, you guys. Notice this piece of clothing. It is put this way, while this piece is put this way. So in spreading the piece of clothing, water evaporated quickly, while when the piece was in this shape, water evaporated slowly. This means that objects that are put individually on a large area, like this, evaporate water quickly while when it's put on a small area, water evaporates slowly. We can confirm this by getting two bowls of water. The first bowl is big and the second is small. We will put the same amount of water in each bowl and we will put it under a source of heat. Notice that after some time, the water from the first bowl evaporates faster than the second smaller bowl. That's great! So, water evaporates off objects with a large surface area faster. So, with this, we learn together, my friends, the evaporation process, the condensation process, we differentiated between evaporation and condensation, we learned about the relationship between the surface area of an object and the speed of evaporation.